Hey everybody, this is Ostoni, and welcome t back to Digimon World Cyber Sleuth. Um, it's been a little bit since I've done a concurrent recording of this game, but it is never my intention to ever abandon a game, much like I've said before. It's just, you know, certain games take priority sometimes. Um, sometimes just stuff comes up and games uh, take priority, like God of War and certain events on um, on uh, Monster Hunter, all kinds of stuff. But let's actually take a look at exactly where we are, because I can't remember, sorry, what exactly we are supposed to be doing. Let's see. Let's see. Check Kowloon level 2. That's where we are. All right, so let's take a look further in here and see if we can't find who we are looking for. Let's see. It's been a little bit. I like this is definitely a Digimon game that I don't want to just quit on because this is one that actually like can be beaten in a somewhat timely manner as long as you just actually know what you're doing. Um and that may sound like I am throwing shade to a particular game in, um, in, um, Next Order, but it, it, it really isn't, um, Next Order is still a good, is still a good game, but it's a much more challenging game overall, and it's not, ooh, there's a downed robot over there. I'm gonna go get that downed robot, and I'm gonna get some treasure. Hello there. Um, I'm gonna restore you. Yeah, I did it. Debug log error, error, error. Item output. Happy hackers memory number three, multi recovery three. Okay. So yeah, be. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but be sure to be on the lookout for those guys because they are good. My camera's a little darker than I would like it to be for some reason, but. I'm pretty sure that you guys will be able to see me regardless, um, but I'll take a look at that in between episodes. Let's see. There we go. And... Wow. Uh, and um, this is actually the first time that I've been able to actually use Devamon since he's actually come into the party. Um, if you guys um, don't remember um, why I put him in, it's because we had um, two vaccines and a data type. We had no virus type in the party. So um, it made a very particular um, boss battle very difficult. So I decided that we would go ahead and try to ail, or, well, not ail. Well, cure us of what was ailing us, and that is a imbalance. So Cell, the Kabuterimon, is as of right now, he is just kind of chilling in the farm, and that is that's fine because eventually he will come back out and he will be a full-fledged member of the party. It's just I have to um, get a little bit more memory in order to use him again, in which um, that shouldn't be too hard. It seems like um, yeah. Sorry about that. I've been. Like, I just recently, like, as I was going to start recording, started getting these sniffles and everything like that. Perfect timing. But, um, whenever I get enough memory, um, I should be able to put it back in. But, um, like, I seem to be getting it in a steady supply now. I think I actually got, like, my first two not too long ago. So, I should be kind of getting it steadily as I go from this point onward, which is exciting because I would very much like to have more Digimon in my party overall. Ooh. Ikki. 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 Alright, and... Fly off. Okay, let's let Devilmon try this shit. Bam! Alright. You did it, Devilmon. Yeah. Devon looking like a psycho. I don't know what I'm actually gonna turn him into. Um, I um, if I can, I will make him a Pokemon. 
because um, I already got one for another particular virus type that this could actually turn into um, in uh, Marimon. But I think that this uh, Devamon is going to wind up being a Pokemon. Because, um, little um, fact about me, I actually liked the Digimon Digital Card Battle game. And um, my favorite card uh, from there, like, well, one of my uh, favorite cards over time got to be one of two. It was Venomiotismon and Apoclobon, because I really like to use the uh, black cards in that game. Like, they were calculated risks, so if you could actually uh, weigh out the uh, odds, you would actually be able to win, which is something that I really liked. Um, you had to, like, you had to use your brain in order to, like, really think about it. It's like, well, if I mean, if I'm attacking first, do I really need the extra HP? And he doesn't have anything that's going to make him attack before me. That kind of stuff, you know. Kind of like in this game. Except there's no, um, kind of moves that kind of drain you for power and then, like, let you strike. So, yeah. See, that's a game that um, I wouldn't mind ever, like, seeing a sequel to. But it's one of those things where, okay, so this must be where we're supposed to go. Um, but it's one of those um, deals to where I would not mind uh, seeing a sequel to it, but I don't think we ever will. Because um, I just don't see the people in droves talking about that particular game. And I didn't really ever um, understand why, because, um, like, me playing the game, um, like, not too long ago, I would say the game has actually aged, like, from a tactical standpoint, fairly well. I still have to think about what I'm going to do. It's not easy by any means. Ooh. Okay, so this is... You get out of my face, bitch. Get out of here. And you too. You're the one causing my sniffles. So I'm gonna beat the dog shit out of you. Here we go. Bam. Just swipe it at you. Yeah, we got. Alright, Devmon's leveling up. That's good. And we got Automamon, if we want to make one of him. Alright, here we go. You look delicious. I wonder if your, what your souls taste like. Eek, don't get near me. You have strayed into my domain. No shaking. Are you scared? <laughs> You're just a Digimon. You, you don't scare me. This human also looks very tasty. Which one shall I devour first? <laughs> Get up, Bakimon. Eat their souls. I thought it would be fun to come um, looking. Uh, they thought it would be fun to come looking for a ghost. Let's get out of here. We won't let you go that easily. Hmm, shall we eat them? Shall I eat them one at a time? Or both at once? Fine, either way is fine. Make them tremble even more. S stay back! Don't worry. Who are you? Have you come to let me eat you too? No, I'm about to fucking slap your shit sideways. People are telling um, stories about a ghost. Of course, I told B B Bakemon, or is it Bakemon? I bet it's Bakemon. That probably sounds more right because of Japanese dialect and whatnot. Not trying to be racist, just saying. Uh, of course, I told Bakemon to scare humans. Why? Because it's fun. Why else? The terrified looks on their faces is hilarious. It is kind of hilarious. So you're going to eat our souls? I can if um, you want me. <laughs> I can if you want me to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, stop it. You want us to stop? No way. We're going to. We're going to want it to do it even more. Well, guess what? I'm gonna knock both of you straight in the tits. Well, this is interesting. I think this is one of the first champion level Digimon that we will actually have, like scan data for. Okay, so. Let's actually try and uh, get the champion down. Well, that wasn't very hard now, was it? All right, so let's try... Mm. You know what? Let's try just Holy Light. It's probably gonna be the best bet. 
And let's try Death Claw, because, I mean, it is neutral damage, so... Okay, good. Attack. Wrong move. Mother bitch. Why all? Get out of here. I'm thinking that you can just go around eating people. Ooh. Looks like Galatine got leveled up, and Marimon as well. That's always good. One step. Oh, wait a minute, we actually do have Soul in the party. Hooray! We didn't leave him behind. I couldn't remember if we did that or not. We... Or, we lost. I don't know what accent I'm giving him. Oh, shit. Okay, I promise. I won't scare any more humans. Please forgive us. I was just about to be all like, and now, this, this is going straight up your ass. <laughs> really, please believe us. Um... I'm gonna scare him. I'm gonna beat the shit out of you if you come back here. <laughs> You're dead if you fucking come back here with a hundred. If we scare any more humans, you'll destroy our data from the inside. Please don't. Come on, Magma, let's get out of here. I bet his soul would have tasted great. <laughs> get out of here. You're drunk. I can't believe those two. They only saved us there, thanks. Well, all right, that's a case down. Sweet. Hello. So there was a little ghost after all? It was just a rumor? Kinda. I look so down because the party didn't go well. The girl I like was there, but it seemed like she's even more scared of ghosts than me. When I mentioned the ghost story, she got up and left. Oh, that made me even more infatuated with her. But I don't think um, she's good has a good impression of me now. I've tried everything to, um, contact her cell phone, email, hide outside her house, but she won't respond. I think I'll just give up. <sighs> Where did I go wrong? Probably hiding outside of her house. Could it be because she was so, because she hates ghosts? Maybe. See, you think it's because I've tried to use the ghost story's angle to hit on her? Probably. But I always use that approach. Are you telling that freaks people out? Yeah. I never heard, thought about that before. I guess that tactics is a double-edged sword. Although I've never had any luck with a girl at the party, maybe it's time to rethink my approach. Oh, getting tactical and shit about it. Oh my god. <laughs> I love that shit. Since I wear glasses, somehow I can use that to my advantage. Next time I'll try to explain the sophisticated intellectual type. Oh, I know exactly what you mean, sir. Thanks for all your thanks for all your help. Maybe I'll um be a big hit at the next party. Hey, why don't you come? No. Are you sure? That's too bad. Maybe it's for the best. I wouldn't want um too much competition. What you saying? I'm hot, bitch. You saying I'm hot? Is that what you're saying? Just do watch the 94th party. <laughs> oh god. It'll be the one where I finally succeed. Uh this guy's got a lot to learn about things. Alright, let's go ahead and see what our reward is, because I totally forgot. Okay. Alright, we got speed attach E, we got 2200 yen. Okay, cool. Alright, we still got three more cases to go, and I think this is actually a good place to stop because about 15 minutes is pretty good for an episode, I would have to say, and I'm kind of getting back to speed on things. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to know when the next episode is coming out. And question of the day, this doesn't necessarily have anything to do with Hacker's Memory, but it's a thing about, um... It's a thing about RPGs, specifically, that I feel. And I want to see if you guys have ever had this experience, too. Um, that experience is, have you guys ever, um, like, stopped playing a RPG for a specific amount of time, and you come back to it, and you're, like, really psyched up to play it, everything like that, and this especially goes for anything that was like maybe PS2 era or earlier, and then you start it up and you're like, all right, I'm ready to go. What was I doing? Because that's happened to me quite a lot. Damn, 
fucking loud ass car outside. Yeah, you're in the suburbs of Daphne at fucking Arla Burma with a banjo on my knee, and you're in a fucking roundabout neighborhood and you need to rev your engine that fucking loud. Woo! <laughs> but anyway, um, I would have to say that's the case for me. Um, uh, one random game that I kind of felt that with was, um, actually it does kind of have to do with Digimon because one of them, um, uh, in the PS1 era was, um, Digimon World 2. Um, I got to a point in that, um, and I stopped playing for a little while and then I wanted to come back and start playing it and I had no idea where I was supposed to go. Um, another one is, um, this one's actually more of a cult game. Um, kind of thing, uh, cult hit kind of thing, is uh, MS Sagas, which is a game that I really want to play on the channel at some point, so maybe I'll have uh, my second chance to do it then. But um, whenever I started playing that again, it, like, it just took me forever to figure out what I was supposed to do, and to be truthful, I don't think I ever did figure out what I was supposed to do with it. I just, like, came back to it one day, and I tried looking around for, like, an hour for what to do, and then I just stopped. So, let me know about, um, any games that you guys have experienced like that in the comments below. Um, in case you guys are wondering what Emma Sagas is, it's actually a Gundam turn-based RPG where, um, all the Gundams are borderline chibis. So, it is a pretty interesting game. Um, for PS2 if you guys ever want to check that out before I start playing it myself on the channel, which I don't know when, but it'll happen. But thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. Stay off. Grr.